Today we're going to be talking about the median and centroid of a triangle. So here is a triangle. If you take any one of the three points on a triangle, and then you draw a line to the midpoint of the opposite side, then you have drawn yourself what is called a median. Now one interesting thing about a median is that all medians will divide the triangle's area in half. Since there are three sides and three points, we will always have three medians in a triangle in total. The three medians converge at a single point in the middle known as the centroid. Now, if we take any median, for example, this one, and go from the point to the centroid, the length is always two thirds of the entire length of the median. The rest of the length from the centroid to the midpoint is one third of its entire length. Another way to see this is that this segment from the midpoint to the centroid is always half the length of this segment here, which is the centroid to the point. All right. Now that we have a rough idea about what the medians and the centroid of a triangle are all about, let's move on to trying some problem solving questions together. So here's a graph with three coordinates that make up the following triangle. Let's begin by trying to find the exact midpoints of each side of the triangle so that we can draw our median line. And how can we do this? Well, the midpoint of a line can be found by using the following formula. So let's find the midpoint for this line segment right here. All we need to do is plug in the two coordinate points that make up the line segment into the formula and we get this. And if we simplify this, we get the midpoints as 3, 2. So let's go ahead and plot that out on our graph. And what about this line here? If we plug our coordinates into the formula, we would get this, which simplified equals 7, 0. So let's plot that on the graph as well. Lastly, what's the midpoint for this line segment right here? Well, again, if we plug the coordinates into the midpoint formula, we would get this. What we get is 5, negative 2 as the midpoint. And again, we will plot that on our graph. Good, so it looks like we've got our three midpoints. So now that we have these midpoints, we can draw our median lines from each of the point of the triangles to their opposite midpoints. Let's not forget that the intersection of all of the medians in a triangle is called the centroid. Now, we can just eyeball what the coordinates of the centroid is and see that it is sitting at five, zero. Awesome. So. So far, we have discovered the midpoints, medians, and the centroid of this triangle. Now, let us explore further and try to verify that the length of this segment is half the length of this segment. Well, to verify this, we've got these two distances that we need to measure. So the only info we really need for now are these coordinates and this median line and we can forget about everything else for now. So let's start by finding the length of this line right here. But remember, finding the length of this is not as simple as doing x2 minus x1, since doing this would give us the length of the line segment here, which is clearly not the same length as the line that we're looking for. However, what we can do is look at these lines as part of a right angle triangle where these lines are the legs and this line here is the hypotenuse. And we know that if we have the values of two sides of a right angle triangle, then we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the last side. So let's try and find the values of these two sides so that we can actually use the Pythagorean theorem. So computing x2 minus x1 gives us 5 minus 3, which equals 2. Now, doing y2 minus y1 gives us the length of this side here, which would be 2 minus 0, 
and that is equal to 2. So now that we have the values for both legs of this triangle, we can use the information to plug it in the Pythagorean theorem as the A and B to find the hypotenuse C. We get 2 squared plus 2 squared equals C squared. Simplify this to get 4 plus 4 equals C squared, which is the same as 8 equals C squared. Switch 8 and C squared for better legibility and square both sides to get C equals square root of 8. So the length of this segment is square root of 8. Now, what about this part here? Well, we can do the exact same thing and find the triangle within this, which is right here. x2 minus x1 for this is 9 minus 5, which equals 4. y2 minus y1 is minus 4 minus 0, which equals 4 units of length. So if we plug these values into the Pythagorean theorem, we get 4 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. Simplify it to get this. Add to get 32. Switch them and then square root both to get a final answer of c equals square root of 32. Great! And if you calculate the value of square root of 8, it becomes roughly 2.8. If you simplify the value of square root of 32, you'd get roughly 5.6. If you actually look into each decimal, you'd realize that we have a situation that confirms what we learned about how the centroid interacts with the medians, and that the length of this segment here is indeed half of the length of this one. Well, that's it for medians and centroids of triangles. Remember to try some questions. And, of course, we will see you in the next lesson.